Hi everyone, welcome to this webcast. My name is Ali Reza Zaidi. I'm an ERP consultant, currently working for one of the pioneer ERP implementer in the Middle East Business Experts Gulf. This webcast is the third video, D65 for Finance and Operation X++ Development series. Here I shared you two things, how to add custom methods in table extension class, how to extend or overwrite existing method with the chain of command. For both this example, I will use the display methods. Let's begin. So my friends, this is the continuity from last, uh, last video I create uh, icebreaker model and did a very simple customization. Uh, for current example, we go to sale order list page and add a custom method that shows the total item sales amount in that sale order. And first of all, I declared that class is a public static and now uh, attribute extension extension of table str and sales table uh, again and OK and close and then I add a, a method static method public static uh, public static lines amount okay and this uh, sales table underscore this extend in a sale order and above that I have to go to add an other attribute method is equal to <laughs> false and not good words, so false and now i'm declare our sales line underscore line multiply by sales multiply by line dot sales sales q sales qty and return now i'm going to compile so this method will be available uh, our create its extension list list page extension will be total sales right total sales right and uh, data source set as a sales table sales table and now it's a data bit a tricky uh, I have to call the method and first of all it's double copy and now I copy it and delete because this will create if I start to data field I paste it here saved it and right click after refresh I found a new field total sale uh, I'm not going into depth of the correction of these values and why negative value is coming possible the reason is that these are the say return orders anyhow the our display method is working fine item name item name if you see this item name is a data method so we have to go to extend this method uh, with the help of chain of command so what we do first of all we uh, right click and add another class with the help of with the name uh, say and uh, now what I do I go on a sales line I create a sales uh, variable of same type name and next is name is equal to next a get table name that's next is the next item and uh, one thing is missing that is public final that is requirement of extension class and now method and after that what I did name equal to 
I add my keyword ice break. So you can see uh, we extend the table method functionality with the chain of command. So you can found that icebreaker 2 which we added in here in the code sales and extension with the chain of command method and we are opening another sale order and you can see that all items have icebreaker 2 as extension which comes with respect to our code here so this is the uh, quick video where i share you how to extend a table methods uh, through extension table methods through extension see you in next video thank for watching